Okay, I'm back for another SketchUp video. I had a viewer ask me a question uh, from my last SketchUp video, which is pretty cool. I like that. I'll do viewer requests. It's fun. His question was related to building corners and how the plates, uh, the top plates, or even the bottom plates might overlap. So what I did with, was here to save a little time, I went ahead and drew out this kind of floor system here, just a, a slab of a floor. Uh, we'll pretend it's concrete. And uh, I went ahead and just drew out some studs and some plates. Uh, this is just a, a 12 by 16, uh, just for an example. I also put some window, the start of some window framing in here as an example too because uh, it's related to the to the corner and I'll show you now how it is related to the corner when we start framing a house the first thing we do is we we decide how many uh, window openings there are and we cut the jacks the jack as we call it there's different terms around the country for this but we call this piece right here that's nailed onto the side of this stud or this 2 by 4 um, a jack because it's holding up the header and the header is just a 2 by 10 um, two 2 by 10 spaced apart like that and the reason they're spaced apart is so that they're flush on both sides of the wall when you raise it up uh, with a 2 by 4 on the bottom like that okay so you might say well what's that dimension well we cut 10 and 7 eighths off of a stud and that block, um, the reason we go ahead and um, cut these is so that we don't have much waste uh, because we're going to cut 10 and 7 eighths off of that for the jack anyway. So we, we count, we might have, you know, 30 or 40 of these things, uh, jacks to cut. So we may end up with 30 or 40 blocks that we can make, guess what? corners out of and I'm going to show you how we can do that right now. So I forgot to make the block so that's what I did. <laughs> I'll cut away some sometimes during the video to just try to save time uh, and make things so I just made the little block that used to fit uh, right here and I'll show you it used to fit right there. See? Now we're going to take that block and all the other blocks that we cut off and we're going to make corners out of them. So it's going to go right here. Like that. And so there would be one on each end. And by the way, your studs are pre-cut when you buy them uh, for 8 foot walls. They're 92 and 5 eighths of an inch long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another block. I'm going to put it down here on this end. Get where I can see where I can snap to the corner. like that and then I'm just going to copy one in the middle somewhere doesn't have to be perfect just so we're right there and then I'm going to take another 2x4 another stud I'll just copy this one and put it right there so now we have a corner of course this is laying down on the floor just like we would lay our walls down to build them before we stand them up so that's that wall and let's just go ahead and fill this wall out with studs while we're here so what we'll do is we'll just copy this one uh, let's go uh, we usually go down 15 and a quarter so that puts the center of it see at 16 right there see and then we can just copy now we can just copy this one down. We'll say 16 times, how many do I need? 10. 10 of them. Like that. And I'll delete these out of here. Out of the window opening. And I hope I'm not going into too much, too much more detail than was requested. Um, 
but um, <laughs> you get me started on this stuff. I'm, I'm going to make a group out of that and copy it for down here. Right there. So now we have a corner on each end. And the other thing we can do is copy our plates. Now your first top plate will be an exact duplicate of the bottom one, which if I was actually laying this wall out in real life, I would have had two there, um, and I would have marked them, marked the studs on each of them, so that when I brought this plate up, we could nail them, and they would all be straight. Let's just say that's a door opening for now to save time. I'll delete that stud out. I was going to make it a window opening, but just to save time, we'll we'll um, we'll call it a door. <laughs> so that wall is framed. Okay. So now what we would do? Let's make it a group, so it all stays together. And so now what I can do is I can stand up this wall. I'll get my little tool here, rotate it 90 degrees and pull it back. Let's pull it back. In real life we'd set it back another half inch for our sheeting um, like that. Okay, well, and sometimes if it, if, if it made sense if we were up really high, say this was a two, second or third story we might even go ahead and nail on the sheeting before we stood the wall up. Okay, so I kind of did that prematurely uh, because uh, <laughs> I just realized I didn't put my double top plate on. But let's go ahead and do that. I can do it here. We'll just pretend I'm on a stepladder doing it. <laughs> so we'll copy this plate. Oops. What I'm going to do, I'm going to ungroup this. I'm going to explode this group for, for now. So I can just uh, grab things individually. I can always regroup it later. So what you do is you actually have two top plates and that makes the wall about eight foot one and a quarter and what that does is it gives you some wall height let's go all the way down here and measure I think it's eight foot one and a quarter it gives you room for uh, like flooring and eight foot one and an eighth okay I was close um, I just forgotten that gives you room to put some floor coverings you know and a ceiling covering and still have about an eight foot ceiling. So now you're saying back to how the walls tie in. This very top plate is uh, cut back when it was laying on the ground three and a half inches. And now I think you see where this is going. Just like that. And it would be on both ends. And on a short wall like this, it may, may not make sense uh, what. Um, what the double top plate is for. Let's say this wall was too long. Let's say it was 40 foot long <laughs> and you had multiple joints in the, this this top plate, uh, the lower, the first top plate. Well this double top plate would you would lap it over those joints and it would give your wall strength and it also does the same thing at the corner. What you would do is you build both of your long walls first this is the 16 foot wall and it's a 12 by 16 so you would build um, oops I went too far didn't I? I had the wrong point we'll go back to here and then we'll go another half inch back so that's what you would have done you would have built both your um, both your long walls first then you would have built your short wall um, in between um, so what I'll do again is I'll copy uh, since I've done all this work I'll copy this and uh, bring it here and um, rotate it around Where's my 90? There it is. And then I'll take out 
uh, when we frame this wall, this end wall, the shorter wall, we'll just let me explode that corner. So now it's pieces again. We'll take out our blocks. We weren't, we're not taking them out. We wouldn't have. We would have built it this way on the floor. So then, when you raise this wall up, it is going to be here. And one thing <coughs> I'm not showing is this should have been moved back a half inch. I, you know, I set this back a half inch. Well, you'd also want to cut your plates back a half inch too, so that the sheeting. As a matter of fact, I'll just fix that in a minute. I'll go ahead and move bit this one back a half inch, just so it's proper. We would have we would have needed this stud because it's on layout, so we'll keep it and we'll just move this over. We'll copy another one uh, there. And then what we'll do is edit our top plates. And now you'll start to see how the overlaps work. I'll take that one back to there. And this top one will just go back to here. And then we'll zoom in on that. Okay, so now, you see how that works? This, and I know this was a long video just to show how that corner works, but it, um, I'm trying to do two things. I'm trying to show how SketchUp works <laughs> and how to build things. So, you can see here uh, that this top plate here, This one is cut back three and a half inches uh, so that it allows this one to overlap that wall and then it's nailed. And that ties your corner together. The other thing that ties your corner together is that, let me just make a sheet of, of plywood right quick and I'll be right back. So I went and made myself a piece of OSB here didn't take too long, wasn't too bad. And I'm going to go take it and put it uh, where it goes. I'll snap to that corner. And I'll back out and go in here. And it will go right here. See that? And so what happens is this sheet overlaps and ties into that wall. And then, oops forgot I still had it. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and, and uh, copy us a piece. Um, copy it. And I'll spin this one around. And put it where it goes. Which would be right here. Now, really, in real life, we just take them to the corner we don't try to overlap because it gets bulky because if one of these is cut and you try to overlap it then it gets bulky so the best thing to do there but you can see that it's still if I were just to lower it some you can see how the OSB the sheeting is now nailed to this wall and it's overlapped this wall and it's nailed through the corner and that's why wood frame construction is so strong uh, because once that you get your sheeting on the entire perimeter then it uh, becomes a diaphragm um, it's very very strong that's why uh, you don't see wood frame houses falling down in earthquakes <laughs> and you'll see the best built wood frame homes even surviving um, tornadoes to a certain degree if they're not directly hit because we, we tie the plates down to the concrete and we tie the roofing members to the tops of the walls with straps and it's very in like in places with high winds like in Florida you'll see uh, this at the corners and other places you'll see a rod coming all the way from the foundation all the way to the top of the wall and the whole wall the whole wall assembly is tied to the concrete um, 
to the base and so it's very strong so anyway I hope that helps uh, I enjoy making these videos they may be a little bit long uh, if anyone else has a request I would be happy to do it and uh, if you have any other um, you know questions about the way things are framed or built let me know and uh, so we can narrow it, narrow it down a little bit and I don't spend like an hour <laughs> drawing the, the entire house or uh, whatever so but anyway I, I appreciate it guys and uh, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think thanks